All right, so we just landed here at Bicol International Airport, and Kaysen is completely enamored, is a good word, by this working Belgian Malinois back here. He loves that dog. And we gotta go look for our ride now, so let's go. I think I see our guide for That's Christina good, and Brian. Thank you, our pickup driver. Walking, we can't see it, but how cool is it that as soon as we got off the airplane and we started walking on the breezeway or the jetway, whatever it's called, and there's a volcano outside. Once in a lifetime, first time experience for all of us. We just walked into the hotel. Gosh, my hair looks crazy. Such a mess. Wow, this lobby is so beautiful. Kuya's excited because he saw steak right here on this sign earlier. This kid really loves a good steak. We just got these cute little drinks with a twisty straw. I, I untwisted Wrong. it. It tastes like lemonade. Lemonade, huh? Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. These guys can't walk into a room. Wow, all right. Oh my. Oh my. You, seriously, Rowan? <laughs> as soon as we walk in. So we're staying here at the Marison Hotel. It's very beautiful. It really, really is. Our room kind of feels a little musty, I guess would be like the best way to describe it. But I think we need to just maybe open up some windows, let some fresh air come in. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's cool. Check that out. That's the view what? from the room, a little different. Kind of wish we had like a volcano view, but yeah. I don't know if they have those rooms here, huh? It's Gonna go comfy. see it tomorrow for yeah, sure. So the children immediately get themselves comfortable. Rowan has found one bed. There is another here. So we're having a quick bite, sort of, at the hotel. And I think we might try to kind of walk around a little bit. I don't know. We gotta get out and explore. This salad is huge, look at it. So this is a grilled salmon Greek salad. Wow, wow. This looks better than Kaysen's Wagyu Vegas steak. He had at Wagyu Studio. Wow. Alrighty, so I got beef ravioli and as you can see here, the pasta is as long as my finger and super thick. Trying to get it in this neckline is terrible. The power just went out while we were um, it's a talking about Kaysen's food. It's a brownout. He knows the term. Brownout. That's our first brownout in the Philippines. I they have a generator. I'm sure. Oh, oh there it goes. Lights oh, back. <laughs> All right, Case. Mmm, right there. The sauce has a perfect sweetness to it, along with the pasta, which is slightly chewy outside on the edges. On the inside, it gets thick because of the beef, but it's really good. Dip, dip. Mmm. I haven't tried something like this before. I, I think the special herbs on it also adds some different flavors around with it. But it's very nice and light, fluffy. It bounces back when you press into it. It's also kind of greasy on the bottom, but with the sauce, with the tomato sauce, it's very sweet. Hey, guess what? What? We found the home of the original chili ice cream. Let's let's do it. Well, we gotta wait for your dad. He wandered away. Look, <gasps> oh, and latik ice cream, yum. I'm slobbering. Other exotic flavors. They've got gabi. That's uh, like taro. Yeah. What is salabat? Salabat. Ginger. Ooh. <laughs> We're all like, oh, calamansi. I, I Pipino, oh cucumber, oh malungai. Yeah. I ordered the latik because it's creamier and it will maybe soothe the spice. We did because it's three scoops, three and, three. and the guy told us we could do one scoop at level two, one scoop at level three, and then another scoop at volcano level. So we're gonna see what's the hottest. The volcano. <laughs> you think so? We'll see. We don't know that. Super red, and it also has a flag. Rowan, you are my most adventurous person when it comes to all things especially. Yeah, which one? Which one? This is first. Can I get some too? Why did I do this? Show me why. I'm down below. <laughs> Nostrils are flaring. Oh gosh. 
Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he just made that way more exciting. <laughs> All right, mommy's turn. Oh, mmm, mmm. Woo. Okay, you gotta try the one next to it. So you don't know what level that is. Same I don't know what level it is. Volcano. This really red one looks like it's volcano. It's I guess I'll try this one. Mmm. I think they're in order. I think it's two, three, volcano. <laughs> We are choking. All right, I'm gonna get a big bite because I've been missing and craving all things spicy lately. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. So like it takes a minute for it to hit, and then all of a sudden, like your whole mouth is on fire. Eat, eat that one. We'll Why see. Would you say Daddy's that? gonna sweat. Oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> it is, right? But I like spicy food though. I like two them or three, I don't know. The red one is like volcano. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. It takes a minute. Wow. <laughs> can you, I'm glistening already, I can feel it. You are glistening. I imagine eating like hot Cheetos. Can't stop eating them even though your, yeah, yeah. your mouth is on fire yeah, and your yeah, fingers yeah. are red. Yeah, yeah. You just can't spicy. stop doing it. Kuya, thank you so much. The chili ice cream was delicious. Rise and shine, everyone. Let's get ready. Rise and shine, everyone. I'm telling you. The next day, we inch closer to my own volcano. But first, training videos. And then another break here. How much time? Oh, we gotta take it ourselves? I wasn't sure what to expect. <laughs> my own volcano is located in a remote area that is not easily accessible by foot or a car. Riding an ATV will allow you to explore the volcano in ways that most people can. Being up close and personal to this majestic volcano is truly breathtaking. You have to come here to appreciate its beauty. Our cameras simply won't do it any justice. What's the verdict? That was incredible. I, mean, I got to drive. I was holding on to my dear life. <laughs> Rowan was like this, like the whole time. It was really hard, but uh, yeah, I it was, was amazing. We head on to the next destination with our local expert. Queer John is our tour guide today, and he was telling us a little bit about Kagsawa. Church or Kagsawa Ruin. Kagsawa Church and Kagsawa Ruin. So all of this, you said it was first destroyed by Dutch, Dutch pirates? Pirate. And the second uh, was the eruption, 1814. From my own. My own. Kuya John brought along a cooler with bottled water, some juice, and some mamon. So the boys were inside the car having a snack. Kason, what do you think we need cheese mamon? Perfect. It's not cheese, bro. Oh, Kuya Larry's going to do some camera tricks right now with the boys and take some really cool photos on my phone. So I can't wait to see how they're going to look. <laughs> looks so cool. We are walking through the Kagsawa ruins. The kids are still in here with Kuya Larry taking their photos. It's 9 a.m. right now. We're normally starting school at home, huh? But today, your teacher is the beautiful Miss Mayon, the volcano and Kagsawa ruins. What do you think so far? So all of this was buried underneath volcanic ash at one point. They had to excavate to find all of this because the volcano got angry and she erupted. Wait, so you're saying it buried that giant tower? It buried that giant tower. Jeez. Isn't that cool? The, the, the tower that you were just a giant over a minute ago. Yeah, it's a really cool experience to do stuff like this. So this is a huge reason why we chose to homeschool the boys um, was so that we could be able to do things like this on weekdays or just sort of whenever. And it just gives us a lot more freedom and flexibility to tailor their education to um, whatever it is that we're doing at that particular moment and still making sure they're getting the basics. All right, so we are on our way to our next destination, which is Sumlang Lake. You're excited? Yeah? <laughs> he just hit Kaysen with a water bottle. We're rolling it up. Oh, this baby. All right, we are here. So we are here today and it looks amazing. Wait, where are we? So Sumlang and Lake. Imagine just living here every day. To our viewers in Bicol, you got it. 
it's amazing. You can see the steam just moving from the volcano. So Clear John was just telling us that the lake, the area around it was developed by like a private um, financier and they chose this spot because it has a beautiful view of Mount Myon. I was just telling Brian in the car about how much I actually really enjoy being out in the province. He does as well. We both feel like it's such a, a recharge every time to go out into nature. It, I feel like that's where my real true heart and soul is. Now, we haven't decided if it's gonna be province like this or if we're gonna go province that's more um, towards the beaches, so we will uh, are we going to go on a boat ride? Yes, we can go do the boat ride over there. We get to pick which one we want to ride in. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll ride that one. Mom, what was your experience on the ride? Experience on the ride. Uh, no ride I've ever been on before. Is it 10 out of 10? Yeah, it was very peaceful, very nice. It was very cool to sit there and be able to have a good conversation with Kuya John. The highlight of being on this lake is seeing the local artisans. The Abaka hand weavers in Beagle are skilled artisans who specialize in creating products made from Abaka fiber. Abaka is a type of banana plant that is native to the Philippines and its fiber is known for being strong, durable, and versatile. The hand weavers use traditional weaving techniques and looms to create intricate patterns and designs in their products. This guy he right here. Kuya, anong panalang mo? Kibin. Kibin? He is making a rug, a carpet, by hand. How long will it take you to finish? Two weeks. Two weeks? Wow, it's beautiful. We also learned how to open a peely nut, dubbed as one of the hardest nuts to crack in the world. It is also Albay's flagship commodity. Puya is going to crack his peely nut. Nice, good job. Peel it? Yeah. It's got a skin on it, Case. Like a peanut, probably not. Oh, that one is bad. Oh, see, it's a good thing you have Kuya John with you to help. When it's bad, Watch your you fingers. Gotta... Move your fingers, Rowan. Go. Okay. Go. Oh, there you go. So rotten. Bad one. No, all the peely yeah, nuts are bad. Yeah. You guys are just gonna keep working. You gotta work for these today. Can you eat it? What does it taste like? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah? Is it creamy? That's it? That's it? Mm. <laughs> That's all. It feels very buttery. My fingers are like greasy. Mmm. Takes a lot for the taste to kick in, but it's like um, it's a light flavor. It's not too strong and not too rich. And it, it's not crispy and crunchy. It's, it's soft and dense. You just gotta cut through it. Alright, there's the bakery. All right, we are here at our next spot, Farm Plate. I am curious to see what this place is all about. We are officially inside the smallest chapel in the Philippines. And I, I usually, I'm very respectful and I do try my hardest not to film inside of churches, but sometimes you gotta capture stuff like this. Nature's lawnmower right there. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Wow. I mean, this is just nuts. You guys are, you nearly have me in tears right now because it's just, I love seeing you outside in nature, enjoying life. Hello there. Meet a friend. Oh, <laughs> Brain. <laughs> There's a cow rubbing on top of my leg. <laughs> Mastering, walking, like a lady. We're gonna get there. No, oh, this place is cool. It's made to look like a American style barn and it's cowboy themed down here. They have like little food stalls and stuff. Look at that buco. Oh yeah, I hear you. You're talking to the chicken. I think the chicken's talking to you. Alrighty guys, so we are here at 
foam plate, and I got a Sato, a Sato Show Pow, and it looks really good. Mmm, I like it. The bun, soft, fluffy. Flavor is sweet, it's like sweet meat. Inside, so saucy, juicy, savory. The meat itself is slightly chewy on one side and slightly chewy on the other. other. We got the um, dry bun sit. I don't know, let's try it. Interesting. The noodles taste meaty, soft, tender. I think it's the oil that it was cooked in with. I like the veggies, they're slightly sweet too. Okay, I'm gonna say this right. Pinangat. Pinangat. Ooh. Oh, that's different. That does look like latin. Huh? It does look like latin. It looks like there's some lemongrass. What is this leaf? It's coconut leaf. Okay. Just wrapped up like an embutido. Some meatiness in here. Definitely. It smells like latin. All right. Because I get in trouble for not doing this with rice all the time for my first bite. Mmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Very similar to latin. But this is a spicy version and there's more leaves in this. Um, it doesn't have as much coconut milk, so it's not as soupy or stewy. It's more chunky, I think would be a good way to describe it. Hey John, you yeah. love this. How's the food? Uh, it's good, very good. The price is a little bit uh, tutong. It's a little bit crunchy. Mm. So very okay. good. Word of the day, tutong. <laughs> crunchy, can't uh, explain all that. Nice. That's why you love me. Pancet Hub Hub. That reminds me of Pancet, like um, the Lucky Me, because I don't usually do like a lot of um, water in it. And as I grew up, when I was a kid, whenever I did ramen, I always put a lot of water in it. And so I didn't learn that trick until I met Brian, but that's really good. I do like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Kaysen has hit 10,000 followers on his Instagram page. I always forget I gotta turn on my six microphones, adjust exposure. This is not point and shoot here. Papa, it's okay. Don't be upset. Kaysen's sad. This is gonna be my call out. My kids are huge animal lovers and it breaks their heart when they see dogs that are not well taken care of or hurt. And these dogs here, I mean, they don't look malnourished, but then another dog came up and it clearly had two broken back legs. And so it was crawling on the floor and these guys just had to feed her because they felt so terrible for her. So um, my call out, my reminder is to treat animals with the same love and respect that you would treat people with. Yeah, don't, don't hurt animals. Don't hurt animals. Don't, don't. They are gifts from God. That's why they don't live as long as we do. Truly believe that. Sleeping oh, Lion Hill. I see. Over that yes. Wow, what an incredible, amazing, beautiful day. Checking out some of the sights here in Bicol, fun things to do. And of course, this beautiful, majestic volcano right there. I mean, I still can't get over it. Magadayon, Magad, Magadayon. I hope I got it right. I know it's Mayon, Maganda, mixed together. Somehow it makes the Bicolana word for beautiful. I know I probably butchered it and I'm so sorry. Um, we are gonna go out tomorrow, I think, and do some more touring. So hopefully we have some more to share there for you. Salamat, and you got till next time. You got any bloopers left in you? Or you been blooping this whole time? The bloopers guy right there. Don't spin it, cause you just got lemonade on my face. The air is good. Jason. Oh, but I just shoved food in my mouth. Jason's gonna eat all the ice cream. Nobody's gonna get any. <laughs> That cow is just pooping. See that big, big brown oh. goo? See it? Let's see how precise it really is. <laughs> Look at them doggies. Back, foul beast! Back! Rowan's throne. It's not comfy, you know. Comment down below if you can see the cow bound cow. They hiding. I, I, I'm gonna get this. You know, is there a size? No. Wait. Is this everything that is this your heaven? My heaven. Wine heaven. Wine heaven. Help me.